Hello, this is Kylie from Hello Crafter and welcome to another video. This time I'm going to show you how I made these cards using the really gorgeous um, Seashells 3D embossing folder. So this embossing folder is really detailed. You've got seashells on there. And what I've used is some of the new pearl paper, pearlescent paper in the mini catalogue but I've also used it on some standard cardstock and I've used the frost white shimmer paint to create a pearlescent effect on the standard card stock as well. So these cards are another design in my February card class kit. So if you've received uh, one of my kits through the post, then this short video will show you how to assemble your cards. So I'll just talk through the supplies that we need to make these two cards. So we've got our two card bases. We have a panel in Seaside Spray, which has been embossed. So you can see it's got that very matte finish onto the ordinary card stock, but we are gonna change that in a moment. And then we have the actual pearlescent paper, which is in the new uh, mini catalog. And this is a little bit thinner than an ordinary card stock, but you can see it's already got that gorgeous sheen. Um, and it, using the embossing folder on it really highlights that so it's really gorgeous so we've got a couple of die cut labels to print our sentiments onto we have some of these gorgeous opal rounds of which this is all i have left <laughs> we use them all and we have some berlin and braided trim and this is what we'll be using to make this pearlescent this is the frost white shimmer paint um so in your kit for the february card class i did send you a sample of this in a little pot with a sponge just so that you can use to apply um the paint i'll just be using one of my sponge daubers so so if you have one of these you might find this easier i am actually going to apply some color onto this one um, which is optional, you don't have to, you can leave it blank like this. Um, but I've picked up three pastel shades ink pads um, that I have to hand and I will be sponging a little bit of colour onto this. So starting with the seaside spray panel, we're going to use our shimmer paint um, to create a pearlescent finish on this card. And this stuff is, this stuff is really versatile, you have to um, shake it really well um, when you get it. It's got a little metal ball inside to help it um, stay clump free and what I will probably do is pour a little bit on my acrylic block just for ease of application and if I use my sponge to dab in and then just sponge on you can just pick up the detail in the embossed image or you can apply this all over. It's totally up to you. So as you can see, I've just used a tiny drop of this paint, um, but it's given my card a really gorgeous finish. So I'm just going to go and clean off my block and my sponge because once this dries it's quite difficult to get off. Next I'm going to stamp a sentiment just on here. And then it's just a case of assembling your card so I'll just put some glue on the back of this panel and then on the reverse of this I just want to put some of the linen braid so I'll just put a little piece of the tear and tape on the back first of all and if I just measure some trim oops 
uh, I just want to lay this down in like a zigzag pattern. And take some foam pads. just place that on your card and then decorate with your little opal rounds So with this one, because the paper's already got that pearlescent finish, I don't need to use my frost white shimmer paint, but I do want to add a little bit of colour and see what that looks like. I have my ink pads and I've got my clean, dry sponge and I just want to highlight some of these shells with a little colour and I'm just really lightly rubbing my sponge with the colour over the raised areas so as you can see i've not added a lot of color but just a little highlight here and there and again i need a sentiment And here are the two cards that we've made with the 3D seashells embossing folder, which is absolutely gorgeous just on its own. And I just wanted to show you a card that my lovely team member Joyce made using this folder. She's also used the coordinating dies with it. So um, you cut out the shape with the dies and then you emboss um, the die cut, which is gorgeous. She's also sponged some colour on to it, as well as using some of the frost white shimmer paint. And then lastly, these were two that I was going to make into cards. I haven't quite got around to it yet, but I just wanted to show you uh, the effect on the different colours of cardstock. So even the palest colours and the darker colours look fantastic with this frost white uh, shimmer paint. So um, just to let you know, because it is one that you can easily miss in the catalogue. It's £7.50 and a little bit goes a very, very long way. So this will be perfect for adding a little bit of shimmer to um, any of your cards and projects. And it works on wood and fabrics as well. A little tiny pot, but endless possibilities. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.